The Starship Generator comes with its own material which you can configure to make your own. Once you have added a new Starship to your scene, make sure it is selected and go to the Shader tab. You'll see the Starship material selected in the Nodes view. This material is set in the Materials modifier of the Starship object. Switch to Cycles in the Render Properties tab as this material works best in this mode. Switch to Rendered mode in the viewport by clicking the buttons in the top right so we can see the material. Add an HDRI image to this scene to get some good lighting for editing a material. I'm using Sprout Sunrise, freely available from polyhaven.com. To add the HDRI in the Node Editor drop-down box, switch to World Mode. Click View, then Frame All to see the nodes for the world view. Add an Environment Texture node and connect it to the colour input of the background node. Click Open and select the HDRI file. You probably want to keep the background black, so add a Mix RGB node and place it between the Environment Texture and Background nodes. Change Colour 2 to black and then add a Light Path node. Hook the Is Camera Ray output of this node to the FAC input. You should now have some nicer lighting to work with. Change back to Object mode in the Node Editor to go back to the Starship material. Let's add a simple image pattern to the material. I've created one using the freely available JS Placement application, although there are lots of different ways of creating these, some even inside Blender. We've included links in the description to help you along. Now, with the mouse in Node View, press Shift A and add an Image Texture node. Click Open on the Image Texture node and find the image you wish to use. Connect the colour output of this node to the base colour input of the principled BSDF node. You should see the viewport update with the texture applied. We recommend adding a Texture Coordinate node and connecting the object output to the vector input of the Image Texture node. This will be useful when baking the images to a clean UV map. Add a mapping node to control the position and scale of the texture and to make the texture symmetrical, add a vector math node after the mapping node and switch its type to absolute. If you want the texture less stretched along the sides, set the image texture projection method to box. This won't produce an entirely symmetrical texture, however. This pattern is quite strong. We can mix it with the original base colour nodes to make it more subtle. Add a Mix RGB node and place it just before the principled BSDF colour input. Connect the output of the overlay node from the previous setup to the second input to mix the two. Adjust the FAC setting until you are happy. Adding a Bump node, supplying the image map to it and then connecting it to the normal input will give more detail to the panelling. You can also vary the roughness of the material by plugging the image texture into the roughness output. We've included some optional nodes that will add some subtle lights to the default material. Activate these by selecting the Mix Window Shader node and pressing M. This will unmute the window effect. You can also add the built-in displacement material nodes for even greater panelling detail, but this is a video for another time which we will link in the description. Next, we'll look at exporting the Starship for use in another application, such as Unreal Engine. If you have any questions in the meantime, don't hesitate to get in touch by emailing info at configurate.net. Thanks for listening.